Financial headlines in April have been grim. Within one week, CNN Money, The Motley Fool, and The Wall Street Journal all featured prominent articles warning of an earnings recession. But the financial media and Wall Street pundits are about as good as politicians with presenting facts. Here's the truth about earnings, and it's part of the story that you just don't see in the press. Through the fourth quarter of 2015, which is the latest available data as of April 15th, earnings on the companies in the Standard & Poor's 500 have plunged 14.4% from the previous 12 months. That is indeed an earnings recession. However, when you take out the energy and materials industry sectors, earnings are actually up 5% in that period. In other words, the collapse in earnings in energy and materials companies, whose fortunes are tied to commodities prices, was the clear culprit in the S&P 500 index earnings collapse. This observation comes from independent economist Fritz Meyer, whose research we share with you regularly. The companies in the S&P 500 index that are not in the energy or materials sectors, 91% of the 500 stocks showed 5% growth in earnings in this same period. And 5% growth is not too bad at all. Weakness in the energy and materials sectors, two of the 10 industry sectors comprising the S&P 500 are masking strength in earnings in the eight other industry sectors. According to data from Standard & Poor's, earnings at the nation's largest publicly held companies are forecasted to grow 14% in 2016. Even if 14% is overly optimistic, half that rate of growth in earnings would be a robust recovery and would be good for blue chip stocks. A 7% growth rate in earnings annually would be in line with the long-term earnings growth rate of companies in the S&P 500. The point is that despite all the talk of an earnings recession in the press lately, when you look beneath the surface, you find that 91% of the companies in the S&P 500 are growing at a healthy clip. We don't want to be overly optimistic. Since the end of 2014, the stock market has suffered two double-digit corrections. In addition, the six-and-a-half-year-old bull market and economic expansion are both historic for their longevity and a change in emotion or unexpected bad news could send stocks tumbling again or trigger a bear market correction of 20% or more. However, as of mid-April, economic data releases have been positive consistently month after month for a year. And although volatility seems likely to continue in the months ahead, it's also reasonable to expect worries about an earnings recession to end, which would propel stock prices higher. Finally, we remind you that past performance is not a good indication of what you should expect from stocks in the future, and no one knows the future of stock prices. But it's wise to remember that bull markets always climb a wall of worry. They're never expected, and this time could really be the same.